Okay, so welcome back. Alright, so I've painted the plasterboard a grey uh, modelling colour. It's a, I forget the, the name of it. And I've glued the light down now to the base. And uh, here's the glue I used. It's a, a plastic cement for a model building glue. And it seems to have worked. Although I'll just have to monitor it over... Uh, a little while make sure it doesn't break off okay so I'm gonna flip the table over now and we're gonna start wiring up the lights okay so I flipped the board over and if you look closely at these wires they're, they're actually quite small wires so I was thinking about where I could get some and these old telephone cables I've got a couple of these lying around I decided to strip one of these open and uh, inside the uh, four wires I can just use the, the red and the greens, solder them straight to there, and yeah, it works pretty good. Alright, so let's keep going. Okay, so I started soldering the wires on. I've got the green going to green, red going to red, and I've got the resistor here on the third wire. So I'm quickly just going to see if I can solder this last one. All right, so I've got the red, uh, sorry, the green, the red, and now I've got a heavier wire here on the resistor. This wire will be going straight to the uh, the bus line. I've got this little uh, shrink tubing that I'm just going to put over each of the each of the joins, and uh, then we'll start actually um, cutting into the bus line. Okay, so here's where we're at. I should point out at this time that this is a, a three signal head mask and I'm only going to be wiring up one of the signal heads for the moment just to um, try it out. This is basically how the tortoise machine works. It has these inbuilt switches and um, I'm going to wire up straight up to these switches now and every, every time it throws it back and forth it should change it from green to red. Okay, so let's, let's keep going. Okay, so here's where we're at. We got the uh, the wire with the resistor on it goes to the bus line. Then the red and the green wire. I'm gonna make our way all the way up to here to the tortoise switch machine. Now I won't be uh, soldering these ones on yet. If the lights aren't working the way I want, say it's red and I want it to be green, you simply just swap these connections over to make sure you've got the right light. And I've also got another lead from the positive bus line going to the connector and then there'll be two connectors left where the green and the red will go. Okay, so it's all wired up now. You can see I've got the, that's the power wire coming from the bus line, the green and the red going to the light and then that's the existing power line for the tortoise machine. So uh, I guess we'll just flip the table over now, plug it all in and see if it worked. Alright, so we'll... I flipped the board over, so I'm going to plug it in for the first time now. Let's see if it works. Okay, so we've got the power cab firing up. Okay. So at the moment it's red, so let's throw the accessory. And throw the switch, that's 201. Enter. 2. Okay, let's send it back. Alright, so that's pretty good. It's working. Okay, so you can see the switch here now is going straight ahead. So the light is red. We'll just change it for the switch. So now the switch is running off this way, giving me a green signal. So it's all worked out pretty good and I guess it's a matter of just wiring up the other two uh, signal heads. So uh, thanks for watching.